Hellebore is an example of a simple flower that shows off with an intricate center. For this project, we need pieces of white crepe papers, light yellow crepe paper, and yellow green crepe paper. For this tutorial, I will show you how to make the whole center starting off with a carpel, the filaments, and the nectarines at the underskirt. Let's begin with the filaments. Get a 50 by 20 millimeter white crepe paper and stretch it a bit. Then we cut 50 millimeter by 10 millimeter yellow crepe paper. Stretch this out and fold to half. Afterwards, open it and apply some glue. You can spread the glue with your fingers. Put over the white crepe paper on the yellow crepe paper, then fold in the other half. Press it down to ensure that it is firmly pasted. We do the same for the other one. This time, the white tree paper measures 50 mm by 30 mm. We can now cut this one. Trim off the excess, then fringe to match thick size, two-thirds down the grain, starting off from the yellow part. After cutting, we twist it only on the white area. Now, Cut to shape the ends, trimming off the angular side, thus end up with the curved ends.
Then, do the same on the other white paper. After making the filaments, we now do the carpel. Fold one end of a 20 gauge florist wire and wrap it with aluminum foil enough to make a good base. Press it down to get an inverted egg shape. Score the foil base using the edge of the scissors. Afterwards, use a long nose pliers to make the grooves more defined. Cut 40mm by 20mm yellow green creep paper. Cut this to 6 parts just like when you're making a sepal, 2 thirds down the grain. Add a thin line of glue on each segment and lightly twist it. Adding glue will make the tip sturdy when it dries. Then, dab some glue on the base of the paper and wrap it around the shaped foil. Using a long nose pliers, Press down the paper along the grooves, ensuring that it actually go with the shape of the aluminum base. Gather the segments where the base meet and curve out the tips. Thicken the stem using a strip of tissue. Otherwise, you can use plastic tubing to add shape to the stem.
Now, put a thin line of glue on the short filament set and wrap it just at the base of the carpel. Do not stretch the base as you wrap it around so as to make a compressed form of the filament. Firmly press the base making sure that it is set before adding the next one. a thin line of glue on the longer filament and wrap it around the base of the center. This time, slightly stretch the base of the filament as you paste so that the filament shall naturally move angle out of the center. If you will not add a nectarine, you can double the amount of the longer filament. Finally, we make the nectarines. Nectarines are little beans just below the filaments. Cut 10 mm by 25 mm yellow green cree paper. Put a thin line of glue on one side of the cree paper. Using a bamboo skewer, attach one end of the cree paper to the other side with glue. Press it down to secure pasting. It will look like this one. Let me show you again. Then, make a 10 o'clock cut on the other end of the paper tube. Insert back the bamboo skewer and curve out the lip of the paper tube with the edge of the scissor. Take out the skewer and insert on the shaped end. With your thumb and index finger, twist the other end around 5 to 8 millimeters. Hold the twisted part and slightly stretch the nectarine to shape by pushing the base using the skewer. You'll need around 10 to 14 pieces of nectarines. Dot glue on the base of the nectarines and attach it just below the filaments. Push down the nectarines by inserting the bamboo skewer on each nectarine that needs to be placed down. Finish the stem with florist tape.
This is now the center of the hellebore with the carpel, the filament layers, and the nectarines. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more tips and tutorials.